The Nature Conservancy, or TNC as we're commonly called in the Pacific, has been working on a project for the last four years in three countries, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea and the Republic of the Marshall Islands. And this project has been about helping communities and their ecosystems or natural resources become more resilient to climate change. Climate change and is a developmental issue. It's a cross-cutting issue. It passes on health, it passes on school, it passes on ground, it passes on forest. Besides the ecosystem, we also have to depend on the land and the land. So, we come up with good land, we come up good or come up healthy, and we grow good inside the land. This is the Tambu area. So lo 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 sem lo mina um lo side lo climate change sem sem lo management area sem lo mi ken resistant now lo side lo climate change. Si when TNC hem come in lo mi fala hem really picture mi fala out that this is your resources now. This is happening to you, Isabel, this time. And time we fall open them eyes, blow me fall out, we fall say, well, why now if Baba Ibiza see that no more, Ibiza say, yes, yes, we have to do something. Before it got top down, on top it go down. That's all now. Sabe too. It's Tablon Village, it's Tablon Island, it's Tablon Manon Place. Now, planning, he must stop Tamro, he can't have. Kapman now is behind this, but Tinding all call him bottom up approach to planning. Manu Centra Sasi Resource uh, Development Network uh, com comprised of eight uh, tribal council of chiefs. And we would like to use this particular organization as a way of trying to assist our people in terms of social economic issues, in terms of the social mobilization of our people in terms of uh, looking at our cultural heritage, how we can be able to secure the future of our generations. absolutely no doubt that Pacific Island countries are facing a range of impacts from climate change and rapid development. They're some of the most vulnerable countries in the world to these impacts. But the people in these countries, from the grassroots community level to local organisations to even at the national government level, are really the inspiration behind some of this work and about dealing with and building resilience to climate change. They are the ones that are going to build a strong natural resource base to ensure that they and their families are resilient in the future. <laughs>